Woody Guthrie used to write this on all of his guitars, and Woody Guthrie was a musician from a long time ago, and he sang a lot about the government and about fascism and about how people in America should be free, and this land is your land, this is land is my land, and I noticed that this shape really was the same, same as a guitar body on an art palette, so I just thought that it would be really awesome because art can do the same thing. It gives you the voice to be able to give people your thoughts and opinions, like whether they like it or not, they look at it and they see it and they feel something good or bad. And I like that, that it's a real simple way to just reach the entire world, just artwork and music and imagery and stuff like that. So I don't know, I guess I chose the 1984 and I chose the title 1984 and I chose the number and the book as a, a helpful thing to move along my ideas for the art show because it's kind of like what's going on right now in the, in the world. Like we kind of are supposed to pay attention to everything that's going on and make them or let them make the decisions for us. And like everybody's just kind of rising up and everybody's standing up and speaking up finally because uh, there's a lot of bad stuff going on in the world with those people taking their ultimate control of everything. Uh, I read it in like high school just because everybody was reading all those real like subversive books, you know, like On the Road and 1984 and like Aldous Huxley and like all the big weird thinkers and all the weird stories and stuff like that. I always liked science fiction, so it was like science fiction was pretty cool and it was kind of scary. Like the bad guys in science fiction a lot of time are just the government and the people that take control of the whole world and stuff, so. Yeah, that was just, just a helmet that I wanted to paint and it's kind of like the shape of a Kaiser helmet or a, a, a Nazi helmet and so I put bullet holes in it because a dead Nazi is a, an okay thing, I guess, in my mind. <laughs> so that's not a terrible thing. And, and this piece is about how we spend lots of money on war and weapons and all that kind of stuff and tearing down walls and covering up other people's societies and their worlds and when everybody should be able to just get along by now, but. <laughs> the literal translation of Pax Cultura is peace through culture. And it was a big organization that was all about saving cultural heritage things instead of destroying everything. Like a lot of other people destroyed religious icons and temples and artwork and stuff from other places because if you take over power, you want to destroy everything that was in the past because that's like what other people like. So you want to have new stuff for them to like because it's your powerful control product. <laughs> I just wanted it to look really post-apocalyptic, kind of like their old signs that were up like during something happening and after something happened. And I really like the look of really, really old stuff and it's all brand new wood that I just made look really, really old on purpose <laughs> with a bunch of weird stuff like stain and wood glue and paint and blow torches and drills and stuff. <laughs> Like this is a little literal interpretation of a couple Pink Floyd songs that I really, really like. And it's about big corporations and oil companies and the man, stuff like that. It's called Pigs and Pigs on the Wing. And we did that for an art show for here, actually. They, uh, we, uh, they threw an art show that was based on songs. And so people picked songs that they wanted to interpret as a piece of art and that was my submission and then I wanted to hang it again because it really matched with everything in the situation in the art show. So it's just, yeah, it's the big man, it's the, the, the man. It's like the blue meanies from the Beatles too. It's just like the, the epitome of all the, the bad big, big people. And then like, like I said, it's a literal interpretation. So like everything in there, like the bus stop, the glass shards, everything is in, in the words of the song. So. That's why he's wearing a, a Mickey Mouse hat too and stuff like that. It, it's a positive take. It's a yeah. positive take on a, on a negative situation. <laughs> a positive take on a negative situation. Because the system is broken. You know, a lot of people want to monkey wrench the system and bash the system, but just fix the system and take care of the system. You don't need to 
burn everything down for it to be fixed. <laughs> and now it says fix the system, the system is broken. So that's more positive. <laughs> um, geez. That was just me getting super deep with uh, child trafficking and women trafficking and people being trafficked all over the world and live in a suitcase and they die in a suitcase and they die on the road and it's a terrible, terrible, <laughs> terrible world. And so just once again, it was just everything going on in the world. It's just a little comment about it all because I'm not usually very loud about my opinions about what's going on in the world, but I think now is a pretty important time to offer your opinions about what's going on because a lot of stuff is going on. Lab-grown Corona pendants, well, COVIDs, I mean, how do you talk about those? <laughs> I'd say, yeah, these are something that, you know, something that's going on. The quarantine and the quarantine magazine. <laughs> that's a painting from Mexico that my mom gave me, and it said free on the back, you know? And so I spray painted over the word free. And then I painted a bomb on the front and it's called Free Dumb, you know, because that eagle's about ready to drop the atomic bomb, so... <laughs> Dumb. But this is like the Grim Reaper, but the Grim Reaper is a security camera because the security cameras and the media and all that kind of stuff will be the death of us all. Because <laughs> everybody can see everybody's stuff and everybody's just right there and it's easy to find and everybody can get in there. And there's no way to destroy information anymore, so, so be careful, because <laughs> he's out there. Nice birds up there, though. Yeah. <laughs> nice birds, he says. <laughs> tell him. Tell him about the birds. Yeah, the, these, are, these are albatross birds. And if you didn't know, the sea albatross is the largest bird in the world. <laughs> Okay, and what is their significance to the albatross? No, is that no, I just, I just wanted there to be some birds in the sky because the sky was boring without birds. <laughs> now they look like your Ralph Stedman bats to me. Yeah, 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 Ralph Stedman bats. Actually, yeah, yeah. They look Ralph Stedman-ish for sure. Definitely quick and easy like a Ralph Stedman or like Japanese sumi painting. I really love that style where it's two flicks and that's all you need to make a bird. Don't need anything else. They're moving pretty quick. <laughs> well, like I said, I'm not usually too boisterous with my voice. I'm trying to be politically correct in the community and trying to make people smile with light-hearted, beautiful stuff. And so sometimes it's okay to think about the terrible things that are happening in the world. There's a pretty dark, dark place on top of it all too. So just to be like, oh, it's so cute, you know? It's so nice, it's like another bird and another flower. Tony loves those things. And, I do love those things too, but... <laughs> Didn't want to just do something that everybody expected. Usually people expect to see something bright, cheerful, like nature and, you know, pretty bright psychedelic stuff and patterns and happy stuff and so... But, you know, I do a lot of this stuff too and not many people get to see it, so I figured I'd do something different than everybody was expecting to see. I was scared people weren't gonna like it. I was scared people were gonna really like boo me off the off the stage or whatever. So so I'm excited to see what people say in that the comment box. I'm excited to see people's opinions about it all. Because it gives you the option to like it or hate it. So we'll see if people like it or hate it, or love it or hate it. People that have talked to me are people that are pretty close minded to me, probably pretty because they're pretty close to me. And most of them are really in, like in love with the show. Like everybody's telling all their friends to come and check it out because it's it's cool and it's different and it's it's deep or whatever. <laughs> I think after having a super positive response to and stuff that's a little bit dirtier and more politically minded, I guess maybe maybe I'll do a little bit more of that for sure. I'll still paint butterflies and birds and flowers though, and houses. And <laughs> Bob Ross stuff. <laughs>